Welcome back. New York Times bestselling author and Great Falls resident Jamie Ford is back at it again. Today, his newest literary creation hit store shelves. I sat down with the author to get an inside look at these new pages. Ernest closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, the world had fallen into darkness. You know my secret, Maisie said, and now I know yours. Words of a new book pouring out of author Jamie Ford. Love and Other Consolation Prizes is now available to the public. In a work of historical fiction, the author's third novel depicts a coming-of-age love story inspired by the real life of a young boy who was raffled like off as a prize hours. at the 1909 World's Fair in Seattle. It's set in an interesting time in Seattle where there was... Uh, you know, a, a very vibrant red light district, but there's also this, um, this suffrage movement. So there's this confluence of these two social pressures that they're swept up in. The life of the little boy named Ernest was a blank canvas to tell a tale of time when Ford says everything and everyone was for sale. Ford paints the pages of his new book by moving back and forth between different chapters in the characters' lives. I want readers to feel something. I want their hearts enlarged a little bit. Sometimes you almost have to break their hearts a little bit and then put the pieces back together again, hopefully in better working condition. Ernest sniffled and held his emotions in check as he thought about happier moments. The anticipated release of Love and Other Consolation Prizes comes just a week after news that the screenplay of his first novel, Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet, will be executive produced by George Takei. Working on the screenplay allowed me to go back and sort of remove some redundant scenes and enhance some things and actually make it a better story, which you don't often have a chance to go back and fix the things that you, you know, that you, you want to fix. So it's a cool opportunity. Since his first book came out nearly a decade ago and has grown in popularity, readers have connected with Ford's writing in various ways, from touching moments to goofy ones. A, uh, a very ripped dude that had me sign his abs. So that was interesting. I had never signed anyone's body parts. Now Ford lays out his latest work, research and creation, once again for readers to connect with, learn from, and absorb. When I finished this book, it was just all love. I felt really good. I was happy to share it with the world. So I'm, I'm totally looking forward to the release. Now, Jamie is taking his new book on tour tonight. He'll be giving a talk and signing books at Barnes & Noble. That starts at 7. He'll be back in Great Falls on the 22nd and 24th. You can see more details.